Despite a looming deadline, negotiators for the White House and Congress are at an impasse on the debt ceiling and taking a break from talking. This as President Biden is set to return from the G7 summit in Japan on Sunday, with less than two weeks to go before the U.S. could default. Madeline Rivera has an update from Washington. We decided to press pause because it's just not what do you productive. Mean press pause? Just press and pause. Uncertainty on Capitol Hill after debt ceiling negotiations hit a snag. Despite some optimism earlier this week, the White House and Republicans admit they remain far apart. Stuff Yesterday flat. I really felt we were at the location where I could see the path. The, the White House is just, look, we can't be spending more money next year. In a statement, the White House also acknowledges there are differences between the parties. But the president's team is working hard towards a reasonable bipartisan solution that can pass the House and the Senate. <laughs> Stocks dipped on Friday after news of the setback broke. With the threat of default growing larger, 11 progressive senators led by Senators Tina Smith, Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders are urging the White House to scrap talks with Republicans completely and lift the debt limit unilaterally. What the debt ceiling is about is paying money that has already been appropriated and spent. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is also under pressure from hard right GOP members like the Freedom Caucus. The group tweeting yesterday there should be no more discussion on watering down the budget bill House Republicans passed last month. Still, some lawmakers are calling for a bipartisan solution. Both sides have to come together now, immediately. Despite the impasse, the White House remains hopeful that a bipartisan agreement can be reached if both sides negotiate in good faith and recognize that neither side will get everything it wants. In Washington, Mallory Vera, Fox News.